lot of the, the media and the fans and the pundits are saying, Johnny's never been rocked before. And it's something that's very sort of difficult to do sometimes in sparring. What do you say to those, to those critics that say, you know what, if you get rocked by Rampage, be the left hook or right hook, you may lose that title? Right. Um, well, I think a big part of, of, uh, of getting knocked out, it, it comes more and more with the older guys in the sport. Uh, no offense to any of them, but you know, it's just the way the human brain works and the body works. Um, at the accumulation of hits throughout your career, uh, your ability to take punches start to go away slowly but surely. Um, and I'm in the beginning of my career. You know, I'm a 24-year-old guy, still growing pubic hair, and uh, <laughs> and I, I think I have a very fresh, fresh armpit hair, guys. Stop. I think I have a very fresh chin. I really do. Um, I have a fresh chin, and I have a fresh passion and a fresh heart, and uh, and I think that's gonna that's gonna, you know, get me out of a lot of things. Um, I have the passion to not want to get hit, let alone think about losing a fight. You know, I don't even like to get hit. So um, I train my butt off, and, um, and, and that's why my chin is rarely tested in the octagon, because of how serious I take this sport. You know, I focus on things like evading and, and slipping and countering and, and distance. Running. And distance. And I have a disrespect to you, have I? So, uh, not, um, to, not today. Not today. So, um, so that's the reason why. Are you surprised that there's so many people that are not giving you enough credit heading into this title fight? No, I'm not surprised at all. You know, um, one thing about me is that, you know, I can care less about stuff like that, but that's one of the things that, that motivates me. Uh, I was counted out when I was uh, facing um, Chuck Liddell in the UFC and, and Vanderlei Silva, and those are the type of things that um, makes me train harder and, and, and rise to the occasion. On day. I'm, I'm not surprised at all. A lot of people want me to lose this fight, but you know what I'm saying, that, that gives me more power. And in fighting a guy like Johnny Bones Jones, is there anyone of the long list of opponents that you faced in the past that you can draw some sort of similarity saying, yeah, you know what, I, I fought a guy like this before? Well, you know, um, John is, uh, he's very unique with a lot of stuff he does, but you know, um, I, and he's a great wrestler, but I fought great wrestlers and, and his stand-up is okay. And I, and I fought great stand-up guys. I fought a tall guy in K1 with, with longer reach than me and took a dead head longer reach. And um, I, don't, I don't really think his jiu-jitsu skills is, is um, extraordinary. So I'm ready for everything. You know, he, he's a um, creative kid, but I'm, I prepare for everything. So I'm just, I'm just be, I just be happy to get in there Saturday and, and get ready for the fight. Can I ask John Jones if you are underestimating Rampage? And if so, why? Uh, absolutely. And uh, I, Garth, I thought it was funny you asked that question because I'm positive that I've never stated that uh, Rampage doesn't have the tools to beat me. I've never, never stated that in any of my interviews leading up to this fight. Um, and I'm not underestimating Rampage at all. I mean, he's a unified champion who's knocked out some of the best fighters in the sport. That would be a very, very ignorant thing for me to do to underestimate somebody with such a great record and such a great status.